All right, so your boy officially checking in uh, from Cathedral Catholic, home of the Dons. This is one of the sickest campuses that I've ever seen. And as far as like high school campuses, it looks like something straight out of like a movie, like uh, 10 Things I Hate About You or one of them old classics. How crazy is this campus? It, it really is something else. I've never seen anything like it at this level, especially. Uh, it's absolutely uh, mind boggling, like the facilities over here. What was it like uh, the preparation and stuff going into this weekend preparing for this Notre Dame team? Yeah, we did it last year, so it's kind of a similar format, getting out here a day or two early, um, keeping the boys busy. We had a film session for about two and a half hours last night, did our room checks, made sure everyone, you know, no downtime. And in keeping them busy, like what kind of activities are you guys doing out here, hitting SeaWorld, yeah. Beach, like something Yeah, like they, uh, kind of on the way out, we, so we pulled out of town around seven yesterday, stopped in at Yuma Catholic, and they let us do a walkthrough for about two hours. Uh, loaded back up on the bus, stopped over at the beach for about 45 minutes, not getting in the water, just kind of stretching out, getting to the hotel, uh, eating dinner at the hotel, film for a couple hours, little walk through last night, in the room by nine, lights out, you know, waking up this morning, film, little walk through, heading over here. Hey, so talk to me about this uh, California weather and a great day to play some football. I'll tell you what, we are loving it here in California, man. We've been in 110 temp and this is beautiful for us right now. We're ready. Hey, talk to me about the benefits of getting some of these early games in California. I've noticed that you guys have tried to load the schedule up that way uh, the past few seasons. Yeah, we, you know, we, we try to play the best teams we can early. You learn a lot from those early games, and you, you can take things that uh, you need to work on and get that stuff done early. Because, I mean, as we all know, it all uh, it all happens in the playoffs, and that's what we're, what we're really shooting for is to be ready for that. Yeah, shooting for that open, because a lot of us think that you guys are one of the best teams in the state.
right, so it's 21 to 20 at the half. Desert Vistas finds themselves trailing. It just seems to me like the only problem that they're really having is containing these athletes in the big plays. Uh, Guyton got loose on the kickoff. Guyton got loose on the 63-yard touchdown. And then Horton obviously peeled off for the 67-yard yeah, run. Right now, Desert Vistas even is actually playing really well. Take away those three plays. And Desert Vista is walking into the locker room with a 20-point lead right now. Parker Navarro and Elijah Irvin, that connection, it, we knew it was going to be deadly this year, but... That it, might be one of the it, best in the state. It's on point right now. I mean, they are literally connecting on everything. I think Parker maybe might have like two incompletions all the first half. They're playing really well right now. outcome that we were hoping for but you know what are you taking away from this loss uh you know i mean it was a close game uh i'm extremely proud of my, my brothers and my friends out there you know playing for me you know going balls to the wall every play and uh i think personally we got more from this from this loss than you know what people think so you and elijah urban though throughout this game you guys look like you guys could be one of the most lethal combos in arizona how do you guys feel uh we feel good i mean we're always confident about what we can do what we can bring to the table but uh but yeah, we just gotta keep that connection. We gotta keep it consistent. I gotta, I gotta know about this demeanor. You're so calm in so many situations. You guys fall down by those two touchdowns, uh, and you're down 14 to seven early on. Calm. Uh, you have these two bad calls from the ref. Calm. I know you're not gonna say anything about it, but but where, where, where does that where does that come from? And how do you get that? How do you communicate that to your players? Because they're all the same way. Well, here's what we do. We have this thing called character matters, and it's a list of uh, concepts that we follow. And one of the concepts that's on that list is poise. And what we do with our guys is we practice situations, you know, situations like this, and and we try to uh, we try to figure out how important it is to stay poised in situations. What are two things that you really took away from this loss? Well, I think a couple things is uh, we found out uh, that our team has a lot of heart. They never gave up. I mean, we we battled back and forth. And then it just came down to they had the ball last and we ran out of time. Uh, the second thing I would say is how our kids faced adversity today. You know? 
Um, hey, things, when things are going great, anybody can, can perform, but under adversity, what are, uh, what are kids going to do? And I thought, our, I thought our kids passed that test.